Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today in the Bible Bistro, we're going to be looking at Psalm 55, verses 3 and 4. We're doing Psalm 55 all this week here in the Bible Bistro on Daily Dose Radio. So come on in, sit down with me, open your Bible up. If you don't have access to a Bible, I'll be glad to read these verses for us here in just a moment. And just as a reminder, I read from the King James or I read from my own translation. Uh, I usually don't read from another translation because I, I figure that everybody who listens has their own translation in their lap. And that's, and that's good, because as I read, then you can compare what you have to what I read. And then there, that always helps with understanding when you read different translations. They used to print a Bible a long time ago. It was a KJV, NIV parallel, or, or they had parallel columns. And so you would have the verses in the King James on one side. On the other side, you'd have the New International Version verses. And then you could compare between the two. It's a really, it's a really helpful way to study the Bible when you can, when you can source different translations. And that's what I always try to do here with Daily Dose Radio. Either my own translation, which is very wooden and stiff, or the King James, which is very poetic. And then you have the opportunity to compare that with what you're reading. You might be reading out of the Christian Standard or the English Standard or the NIV or you know a New American Standard. Those are all good translations of the Bible. And so you, you may be you know comparing between that and what you hear me say. So it's always good. All right, so I'm going to read to us now verses 3 and 4. Because of the voice of the enemy... Because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pained within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Now you see that the the reason why David is now in prayer, we suppose this because we come so close to Psalm 45 or 54, in verses 1 and 2, we see so much there that now when he says, because of the voice of the enemy, well, we think about the Ziphites standing before Saul in 54, or we think about Doeg standing before Saul in 52, or we think about perhaps David's son, who, you know, Absalom, who rebelled against him. Someone is speaking against him, and it's not just that they're speaking against him, but they're planning evil and wickedness for him. And so when he says there, I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because of, well, we understand it then, don't we? we we've probably been there ourselves. So we can think of Saul, Doeg, the Ziphites, maybe Absalom. Or we can think of our own enemy. Peter tells us about him in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 11, that uh, lion that prowls about, roaring lion seeking someone to devour, that voice, that roaring voice who wants to devour us, we mourn in our complaint and make a noise because we have an enemy who's arrayed against our soul. And as David writes here, they cast iniquity upon me and in wrath they hate me. Yes, the enemy always hates the people of God. And then he says in verse 4 there, My heart is sore pained within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. So you see, it's not only that he has a complaint, and that he's mourning over this complaint, but there's the terror that's on him, the terrors of death. And it says they've fallen on him. It's not like that they've just come up gently. No, that they have been cast upon him by this enemy. He doesn't know what to do. So where does he run? He runs to the throne of grace. Just exactly what we learned last week. So we have it again here in these verses. All right, so tomorrow we'll look at verses 5 through 7 here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.